This video contains accident scene footage which may upset some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. The ATSB reminds all pilots who fly teetering head helicopters to be aware of the risk of entering a low-G condition in turbulence and, where possible, avoid turbulent conditions, particularly on the downwind side of terrain or obstacles. This important reminder comes with the release of the final report into the loss of control and in-flight breakup of a Robinson R66, which occurred near Hawke's Nest, north of Newcastle, in October 2023. On the morning of the accident, the sole pilot on board the helicopter departed on a private flight from Cessnock Airport in New South Wales to Wallace Island Airport at Foster on the state's mid-north coast. As the helicopter flew north, passing over the southern shoreline of Yakaba Headland to the west of Mount Yakaba, the helicopter encountered turbulent air on the downwind side. While at an altitude of about 1,100 feet and with an airspeed of 110 knots indicated, the helicopter entered a low-G condition, which resulted in a rapid, uncommanded roll to the right. The roll passed through inverted and the helicopter broke up in flight, impacting the waters of Providence Bay, fatally injuring the pilot and destroying the helicopter. The accident sequence of events was captured by a factory-installed video and data recording system mounted on the ceiling inside the cockpit. Recovered by the ATSB's data recovery and performance team, Video of the flight provided investigators with an unprecedented insight into the significant uncommanded right roll that can result from low-G conditions. The onboard video allowed investigators to recreate the accident sequence as a 3D animation for further analysis. Just prior to the accident, onboard video from the helicopter showed surface swell and white caps on the southern side of the headland, indicating southeasterly surface wind strengths of about 15 to 20 knots. On the northern side of the headland, Dark patches on the sea surface, known as cat's paws, showed localised gusts on the downwind side that would have been accompanied by turbulence. The investigation identified that after the helicopter entered the low-G condition and the resultant uncommanded right roll, aft cyclic was not applied to reload the main rotor and the roll continued to develop. At the time, the helicopter's airspeed exceeded Robinson's recommended turbulence airspeed, which significantly increased the roll rate and reduced the time available for the pilot to respond with a gentle aft cyclic input to prevent an in-flight breakup. Additionally, the pilot's right hand was holding food, resulting in them manipulating the cyclic with their left hand. This reduced the pilot's ability to slow the aircraft in a timely manner using coordinated flight control inputs. Progressively increasing left cyclic was also applied during the right roll, increasing the risk of an extreme teetering event. In normal flight of a teetering head helicopter, the mast and fuselage hang from a central teeter hinge, attaching the rotor hub to the rotor mast. The pilot controls the spinning rotor blades and hub, which tilts about the teeter hinge in the direction commanded by the pilot, causing the helicopter to move. If this tilting is allowed to reach the extreme limits, known as extreme teetering, the blade spindles contact the rotor mast, known as mast bumping. Mast bumping applies a large force to the rotor mast and can result in distortion or fracture of the mast, causing the main rotor to separate from the helicopter. Our investigation also found that the asymmetric horizontal stabiliser design on Robinson helicopter models significantly increased the uncommanded right roll rate during low G conditions and the risk of an in-flight breakup, with this roll rate increasing as airspeed increases. Additionally, the Robinson Helicopter Pilots Operating Handbook sections for operation in high winds or turbulence did not warn of the potential for turbulence-induced low G and rapid right roll, particularly at high airspeed, or provide guidance for appropriate control inputs in response to a turbulence-induced low G situation. Robinson have developed a symmetrical horizontal stabiliser that reduces the right roll if a low G condition is encountered allowing pilots more time to recognise and respond to an unexpected low-G condition. The symmetrical horizontal stabiliser is being fitted as standard equipment to all new Robinson helicopters and is available as a modification on all existing helicopters. While the pilot's response to this turbulence encounter contributed to the development of the low-G condition, Robinson helicopter pilots are advised that a low-G condition may also result directly from turbulence. If the main rotor disc is not immediately reloaded, the subsequent right roll may develop rapidly, particularly when an asymmetrical stabiliser is fitted. At cruise airspeeds, the time available for the pilot to recognise and respond to the condition can be limited. 
where flight into turbulence cannot be avoided, reducing airspeed to the recommended airspeed of 60 to 70 knots prior to encountering turbulence will reduce the right roll rate if low G is inadvertently encountered. You can read the final report on the ATSB's website by searching AO-2023-051 by the link below or via the link in our bio.